Hello everyone, I'm back. Today I'm making an old traditional, old school trifle. But it's the one layer one. And the reason why I'm doing this is if you don't have the trifle bowl, don't worry about it. You can do it in a square Pyrex uh, dish, one like this. And also what happens is you don't need that many ingredients when you do a single layer. And... Um, this is actually my favorite way of eating trifle. Okay, so I've got a Swiss roll. Nothing was made, homemade. Did it cook in winkle, bought in the shop, bakery, cut it up. I've got a 14 uh, gram can of uh, fruit cocktail canned fruit with juice and all. And uh, I'm going to just place this in now. Any way you want it, that's the way you want it. Just any way you want it. I'm going to do some where you can see some of the kick, the pattern on certain parts. Just so you can see what I'm doing here. Let me press gently. Okay, and the rest you can just fill in wherever you like. You don't have to use sauce roll. You can use a lemon loaf, Madeira, even the marble loaf. It's up to you. Make sure there's no spaces in between. Passing this Did I? Is it record? Oh, it is record. No, honey, let's zoom out. Pieces can go like this. Now we'll just squeeze the rest in between. I'm gonna try to use all of this. There we go. Okay, and I'll finish this off and we'll be right back. Okay. Now we're going to do a cocktail. We just throw it haphazardly with juice and all. Just to moisturize the Swiss roll cake. I'm going to put some juice on these cakes as well. Wish on it. Okay. That's done. Now we're going to do the custard, the jelly, and put it here as well. Okay, so I've got some pre made custard. Again, it was bought. And this is your jelly. Try to make your jelly more on the stiffer side. So you don't have like a soggy trifle. And it holds its shape. And stiffness. So this is one packet of jelly. That I've just uh, mixed with a, a cup of hot water. And about say a quarter cup or so of cold water. Not the two cup ratio. So I've got the green gauge. And the cherry one, you can pick strawberry or raspberry, it's up to you. So now we're just going to do the custard. <laughs> just put it so. Now you don't want to um, overfill it. Because remember, it's a one layer one. And if you are a smaller family as well, this is perfect. And there will be enough for her to have after lunch and some leftover for the evening treat or for the next day. Because you're serving it in small buckets, like in the olden days, not big bucket, small buckets. <laughs> not the gafty buckets. Okay, I'm going to make a so. 
Okay. Custard is there. Now the jelly. Any leftover jelly or custard. I always buy evaporated milk, ideal milk, and then I'll. So I always buy evaporated milk. So if I have leftover jelly, I'll just uh, serve that as well for a dessert. So before I, I fill my sides first. So you have a nice color, rainbow color happening. A little bit here, a little bit there. So you can look on the side and there is some color to show off your bowl of typhoon. So you don't feel like everything's just, you know, swimming around in the center. Okay. I'm going to use all of this because I don't want when you dish and you feel like you didn't even get some um, some jelly in your mixture. I'm going to do the exact same thing. First by the sides. So now we must have enough space for the cream. Right. Okay, there we go. Like I said, we don't want it to overflow. So the minute you dish up and as you push, put your big spoon in and then all of a sudden everything washes out. So leave some space. Now we're going to do the cream. Okay, I can't see a thing. Is this more? Oh, there, that's why it gets blunt. Now we're gonna do this is a 500 ml of cream. Maybe I did too, make too much cream, or maybe not. So I want to pipe as well. Okay. Perfect, and I'll just use a knife. And then I'll smooth it out. Okay, and the rest of my cream, I'm going to pipe on. So don't mind if these gaps by the sides, especially because we're going to pipe. Got a flake as well, some pistachio nuts. You can use any nuts you like, any chocolate you like. Okay, I won't bore you with these details. <laughs> okay, so I'm using the other half of the whipped cream. Remember, it was 500 ml of whipped cream. Stuff peaks, whip it until stiff peaks. But when before you whip the, the cream, add about two to three tablespoons of icing sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. And then you take your electric mi uh, mixer and whisk until stiff peaks form. And that gives it that nice vanilla ice creamy taste. So first do a space in between just in case you run out of um, cream. <laughs> And when you do have leftover cream in your piping bag, you go in the spaces. I think we're going to have over enough. There we go. There's enough to start put. Oh, you're in a frickin' deal. Okay. Do my that. Where it fell. It's doing whatever. So we don't waste anything. I don't like to waste anything. There we go. So obviously I didn't plan how to pipe this, but it is what it is. <laughs> this is my flake. 
and we're just gonna make it pop in the packet One second. Okay, so I've got some pistachio nuts that I just chopped up roughly. Just gonna go over a bit. And this I'm just gonna put at the border. Gonna put it anywhere you want it. Like come in. And um here is your one layer trifle finish. You make this the day before, put it in the fridge. Oh, you're not fricadel. Okay, that's amazing. There it is, guys. Finished. Here we go hey guys here you have it my one layer trifle there it is hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll be back again with another video soon bye everyone love you guys yummy in my tummy <laughs>